back on the Morning Brew Monday, and we're really taking care of business today. Uh, our, our next guests are uh, going to be doing a, a Facebook for Business seminar. And uh, we have with us today Scott Moran, who is a Facebook app developer, and Andrew Edenfield, who is in the same business. And Facebook for Business, guys, it's a big, big deal, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Very big. So uh, let's, let's hear about this event, and what are people going to learn? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to teach small business here in Albuquerque how to score big on Facebook. And we use score as an acronym. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, the, the most, we find that most businesses that are on Facebook are using Facebook as an end user. And they've never really made the transition to using Facebook as a business. And we have apps that are developed uh, specifically to target local demographics for businesses that are trying to get uh, the push to get people to come into their doors. And in today's economy, that's, that's, uh, that's a challenge in and of itself. It and, is. And businesses that are using Facebook are struggling, uh, just posting things on their, on their timeline, yeah. <laughs> uh, discounts and things like that. And Facebook for Business is quite a bit more. Uh, we like to say it's like two sides of the same coin. Uh, that Facebook for Business is an entirely different uh, appearance, just like heads and tails of a coin. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the things that people will learn by going to your seminar? Well, one of the first things is separating between the end user and a business user. Okay. And what that really means is most people engage Facebook as an end user. Yeah. And we really want to distinguish between the two because Facebook, you can utilize so many different applications for business, especially here in a local market like Albuquerque. Right. So when you're logging into your Facebook account, you're the end user suddenly. Correct. Uh, that's you. Absolutely. All right. So um, how do we reach that person? That's, that's the big challenge. Well, the, uh, the acronym, uh, the, the separation, the sure. S in SCORE would be mm -hmm. the separating the end user from the business user and right. distinguishing how to uh, classify your page. That's the C in SCORE. Yeah. Uh, most people, any 14-year-old can create a, a Facebook page. Yeah. Sure. And, and, and the, pr the challenge with that is many people are creating a Facebook page because everybody's doing it, mm -hmm. but they don't understand that there's applications and there's, there's ways of classifying your business so that the local community can find you in the Facebook community. Right. Uh, we're going to show you how to turn that switch on. There's two things that you can do uh, that we'll get into detail. It takes about four hours to really take a local business owner and show them how to plug in. Facebook is global. So we're going to show them how to plug into their local market and get people to come into their doors. The O is for optimization. Uh, we're going to teach them how to optimize their page and their engagement uh, mm -hmm. with their fans. So it's, it's not enough to have 10,000 fans. Yeah. You need to, your page needs to be optimized so that you can begin converting those fans into paying customers. And the R is for relevancy. Um, well, we, and really with relevancy, it's, it's the how. Yeah. It's the when. It's the what to post. Because that is so important, and yeah. people are just, you, you don't, mm, that's what we're going to go over. Because yeah. really the how, the when, the why is so imperative. Yeah. And the relevancy. What people yeah. don't understand about Facebook and what I've kind of learned is that you can really get specific with your target audiences. Yeah, I mean, you can really drill down and... Absolutely. find yeah. women between the ages of 35 and 50 and you can get real specific on Facebook. Absolutely. You 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 can find age, demographics, uh, things that they've like what what's what's kind of spooky scary is Facebook uh, a, a has predictability built into uh, the new edge rank. And edge rank is is a proprietary algorithm by Facebook uh -huh. that we kind of understand and have a little bit of insight into how to help that small business use edge rank yeah. uh, uh, to tap in and drill down and find that that uh, that that local demographic. It, it's kind of scary because Facebook can actually predict uh, with with over seventy percent accuracy when someone's about to get into a relationship just I by the content. That. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah it's, it's, a, it's spooky scary. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. But, it, but, but applying that technology to a business is monumental. Because if we can take that just for fun and determine when two people are about to engage into a relation, change their relationship status and, and get into a relationship, imagine what we can do for a small business sure. uh, on the predictability measure and increase their business by 30%. All right. Now, we didn't go over the E yet in SCORE. Mm. What does the E symbolize? Engagement. Okay. And really, that's probably the most important of the acronym because being, or the separation between the end user 
and the business user. Being in business, you want to be able to engage your audience, engage your target demographic correctly. Mm -hmm. And it kind of, I mean, they're all tied together. Yeah. And when you're working in tandem, your business is going to be optimized correctly to engage that local business right. inside a global business. A good, a good example is we took a business that was uh, giving away monster truck tickets and they assumed that their target market were men uh, in their 20s and 30s. Yeah. And just it, within 30 seconds, we were able to determine that their target market were women uh, in their 30s and 40s. Oh. And we switched their marketing strategy. In, 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 that's just, in a three minute consultation, that's we amazing. were able to change our marketing strategy from give away monster truck tickets <laughs> to a girl's night out in a limo. And their engagement went up 300% wow. just by shifting in, in a three minute consultation. Wow. So that's kind of the, the, the dynamic that we're going to get yeah, into. We're going to give our okay. viewers some specifics on when these classes are, and there's two of them. Uh, I want to give our viewers something to take away, though. You bet. Um, Absolutely. What, what what kind of things should businesses not be doing on Facebook? What should they not be posting? Well, there's a tendency for, for because most businesses are using Facebook as an end user, there's a tendency to post content just because they haven't posted in a day or two. Yeah. And so right. they, they're, they're posting. Yeah. And there, there's, it, it, and my heart goes out to the, to the small business owner because they're trying to generate traction. That's actually hurting their business yeah. on Facebook, yeah. because Facebook will will give it a low relevancy, and they're just not understanding that it's not about posting, it's not about getting fan engagement, it's about when you should be posting, yeah. what content you should be posting. Just because something's viral doesn't mean it belongs on your Facebook business page. Yeah. So, so the takeaway is probably learning when you should be posting and what content you should be posting that's relevant to your business. And that's not as easy as it sounds. A realtor, for example, shouldn't be posting which kitchen would you vote on to be a better kitchen. Yeah. Because Facebook would classify that as an advertisement. And their whole goal is to get you to pay for an ad. So they're going to give that a low relevancy. So it's not going to get the traction that you would want. So don't post just to post. Yeah. <laughs> and again, that relevancy is huge. It, I mean, when I see businesses post something that isn't relevant to their business, yeah, absolutely. I'm like, why are you posting this? Yeah, and that's, <laughs> well, that's something for well, the And it's not user. relevant to you. Yeah. Right? And you're seeing yep. it. And that's just because they don't understand that just because you're a fan of the page, it may not be relevant to you. And there's a way to censor that, if you will, so that it goes to the ones who, who it's relevant to. Right? Now, next week, you got couple of sessions of this, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, th this week, tomorrow. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you're uh, right. Tomorrow, I'm still in last tomorrow, week. <laughs> tomorrow, I think hey, we, we all get, are. We get there to, yeah. uh, <laughs> tomorrow, we actually have a, a fee seminar. And uh, they're all fee seminars. Uh, it just so happens that the Hispano Chamber has yes. paid the fee for their members. Oh, uh, great. But the, uh, the fee seminars uh, where you would have to purchase a ticket, uh, and the information uh, it, it is available through the Hispano Chamber or through... Uh, uh, you can contact us uh, directly through our Facebook page, uh, Social Media Business Concepts. And uh, you can just type that right in, Social Media Business Concepts, on Facebook, and it'll lead you right to the event information. And that'll be at the Hampton Inn and Suites uh -huh. at I-40 and Coors. Okay. Right off, yeah. uh, right off I Elif Road. And, mm -hmm. uh, and that's three sessions tomorrow, Tuesday. The morning session from 8 to noon, four hours of, of most businesses. If you have a storefront business or if you're in business, uh, you'll want to be in that one. Specifically targeted to the regulated industries, real estate, mortgage, insurance, and securities that are regulated by state statutes and, and security exchange commissions. Okay. That session will be from 1 to 5. Okay. And, uh, and then uh, multi-level marketing type companies, direct, direct selling sales. companies will be in the evening. All right. Guys, thanks so much for Absolutely. being here. Well, Great thank job. Thank you so much for having us. Scott Moran and Andrew Edenfield, Facebook for Business. We'll be back.